As what would your morning be without this? You know why you can't see me? Because that's a slab. <laughs> All right. Man, I finally got a nice fish. Dennis. So Dennis, man, thanks for watching. Give you a shout out. Somebody else I need to give a shout out to, man. Oh, Al Jordan, man. Al Jordan, you the man, man. Appreciate you. Big time. Shout out to old Al Jordan, man. He always dropping in, showing love. That call me all day. You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, a hard hitter here with over 45 years of fishing knowledge that I share with fellow fishermen all the time. Check out my new channel upgrades where I've got you covered with all things fishing. Salt water, fresh water, and mostly on artificials. One of the most educational channels out here, guys. And don't forget to get them hard hitter hand ties. And click on the link tree link to access my online store where we got everything fishing. Cups, hats, shirts, jerseys, just about anything you can think of. All right, appreciate the business. Eating. When I say eating, they are eating the baits up. Thanks for watching and for dropping in. And remember to always stay hooked up. That's with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. tell y'all about that floral I mean that that suffix advance suffix advance man look at the head on that look at the head on that on the kayak y'all <laughs> come on over here come on lay it down 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 thank you sir thank you <laughs> Lord it me Oh, God, dog. man. Ooh. Now you see why it was hard to lead us, David. God, dog. Hey, oh, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Holy, you know why you can't see me? Because that's a slab. At the end of the day, slab. Thank you, Reggie. Man, you up there talking. Keep talking in the mud. Whatever you're talking about, the blur. Go ahead and talk at the blur. I'm going to talk at what I see. I can fish. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Hooked Up Fishing here on Lake Conroe. I'm in the water early at dark, just scanning a bulkhead here. Let's see some fish hanging around this thing. And I see some moving, pretty active. So, let's see what everybody is down there. They're all around it. They don't want to hit it, whatever they are. I'm the one swimming. Oh, he hit it. That little brim knocked the fire out of it. So, nothing significant over here. Get out of here. I just had to check it out. I'll get back with y'all when I get on the bridge. But yeah, man, hooked up fishing, man. The hard hitters gonna get over here and give it a real hard run today. Get ready to throw a crankbait on my way out. Later. To another episode of Hooked Up Fishing. I'm going to try to get a little intro in before I get to this noisy bridge as usual. But uh, we're on the real strong full moon phase, some type of super moon or whatever. And uh, the feed isn't supposed to be until about one something a day. It's supposed to be the peak feed. But I've seen activity early this morning. And this 
gonna get in and give it a shot. Try to produce some good solid crappy first, and then maybe target some brim. But, uh, that's the ticket for today. I already see one boat in here right on the very first piling, so I may end up just fishing every piling. The first thing I'm gonna do is check the rocks though. Check back with you guys when I get on the fish. Try to run the head cam a little bit today and not lose any footage. I lost all of my footage off of the head cam the other day on my last video. So see if we can do a little different this time. Alright dog. I got one I got one pulling line all the way out to the end of the bridge. Okay. Oh whoa! Y'all asked for some live action. <laughs> this is what happens on Lake Conroe, man. That raw, that fish way out there on top of the water acting a donkey. Now this might be a, it's a monster. Let me get him out from over here by the bridge. Show y'all what we got going on real quick. Ooh, Joke, he took off like a mad Russian. Big old hybrid. Oh, yeah. Top dollar with the gold flea collar gonna eat good today, boy. I ain't finna be like that dude. That video I put out there, that dude was fishing and he was fighting the fish. He don't got a good grip. That fish took his rod and everything out of the boat. He don't do me like that, not today. I knew they'd be out here. I got one on now. Woo! This joker moving with it. Lake Houston, I mean Lake Conroe Harbors, y'all. This is what kind of action you get. Look at him on top of the water over there showing up. I mean, big boy. Ooh, he acting a donkey. Give me some camera time then, baby. Give me some camera time. Big old hybrid, man. A big, big hybrid. Not no baby. This a monster. God, dog. Look at the size of this hybrid, y'all. Ooh, Lord. This got to be about a 25. This got to be about a 25 here. I done caught some 20s. This got to be about a 25. Yep. This is a huge hybrid. God, dog. <laughs> yeah, you you welcome to him, partner. I'm, oh, he bit me. Don't bite me, boy. Don't bite me. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on ice. Just chill out. I ought to bleach you, but let me go and get an official, y'all, while I'm here. He 22. Yeah. The hook came right out. Like that silver hard here, the hand tie. I better put my uh, rod in the holster. This, these are them fish that take your rod if you don't have it in a rod holder. Crank bait for a little while this morning.
Well, man, thanks for watching. My my dad taught me to do everything on a handshake, but I'm too I'm too busy trying to get some fish today. Another thing, I want to buy some of your uh, hand ties. Hand ties someday. I'll get it off your internet. Yeah, it's easy. And I want to learn how to jig fish. Okay. See, I got minnows. Right. But I don't know. How good morning. To good morning. Good morning. That's my wife, Cheryl. Cheryl, how you doing, Miss Cheryl? Yeah. It, 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 it'd be a pleasure to get you lined up. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. It'd I be really a pleasure. need to learn how. Well, like I told my buddy the other day, we were kind of talking about it, and I said, I got one jig on that just so happened that I caught 200 and some fish off of this one jig, right? And you just do the math. One jig caught me 200 and some fish. I've seen that on your Okay, website. but how many... How many fish can you catch with one minnow or even a dozen? You know, you're not going to catch 200. So, and, and it eliminates, I got to get to the bait house. I got to get some minnows. You're right. You're right. Well, you know, you wait at the right time, I, I guess, as far as live scope is, is concerned. It's a little pricey. I can't afford it. But the 34. 34, yeah. I saw the difference. My buddy's got it on his boat. And we were out in deep water. What it is, it's got a better, better resolution at farther distance. So there's a ship, I mean a boat that sunk out there in like 30, 40 foot of water. So we went and he said, hey, you see that boat? And I said, oh, I see structure, you know, with my unit. Because I got a 32. And so he said, uh, no, it's a boat down there. And so I pulled up next to his boat with my kayak where I can see his screen and my screen at the same time, you could count the spokes on the steering wheel with his unit, and I couldn't see that with mine. Yeah, you know, so I, I warned him. I said, well, if I get that thing, I'm gonna really be dangerous. <laughs> but yeah, it just gives you a, a better, you know, resolution. At, at, in deeper water, at farther distances, that's that's what it is. You know, up close, like 15, 18, 20, 25. My, you know, my my view is great, but it's that greater distance. And what it, they made it for is for those bass fishermen that are casting a long way. But crappie fishermen took it and used it to their advantage too. Oh, I caught one. He was. Beautiful you know that's what I love about it. the crappie here. Oh man, they're just pristine. You almost want to put them in an aquarium. They're so beautiful, man. It's one of the healthiest lakes. That's why I fed my mom off this place, man. One of the purest, freshest lakes you're gonna find anywhere around here. I, I tell people that all the time. Nobody wants to listen. Oh, no, 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 no. There's fish on the inside of that column there, deep. So what I'll do with that live scope to show you what I'm doing with the jig. So I'm able to see that some of those fish are hanging uh, over here on this outside. Yeah. So normally I would just take my jig and pull them to the end here, and that's eight foot. So I got this mark here. That's another foot. So I would go 9, 10, 11, 12, that's orange mark, 13, 14, 15, and if they have 15, and I'd pitch it out. Of course, my transducer's in the water a foot, so I'd have to add an extra foot. And I, before I had live scope, and I would pitch it out and let it flutter back into that strike zone. And when those crappie out of instinct see something trying to float by, and then I've, I've been crappie fishing I guess in excess of 40 something years and all I ever used was artificial. So I not only did that, I used to lock myself in the room, my, my wife, and I turned the, v, back when they had VCR tapes, I turned that on and I stayed locked in there watching everything on how they react in the winter, just forever. So I'm kind of like a student of it and I took that and watched their forage. So my ties are what they eat, 
and a lot of people are just like, man, how are you? One guy, I, I, I've not, I have not posted it yet. I saved this comment, but he said, first, my buddy called me and said, I think you made a mistake on that guy's order. He said, he wished you would time, you know, all of the color that he's having success on. But what he had forgot, you know, people are busy. He said, hey, tie me five or the, what I love, and then throw me some of what you think would work. And I've been waiting for him to say that because he's always want one color. So he finally gave me freedom to tie like I wanted for him. And I did. And I called him because my buddy said, hey, you made a mistake. And I said, hey, uh, Keith, I said, I'm sorry, man. You know, I, Reggie said I may or I may have made a mistake on your order. He said, no, no. I did tell him that, he said, but I forgot that I told you, you know, to give me five of these others. I said, okay, great. He said, man, I'm glad you did. He said, I went to Somerville. He said, man, that blue and whatever, you know, he tried to name it. He said, man, that thing, I killed the fish there with it. And I said, oh, okay. And so he went back to Lake Houston and it was a little off color. So I tied this color, I call it Joe Dirt. Uh, it's an orange and chartreuse and his guide was he was the one that was telling me, hey, that's a real good color for dirty water. Uh, and I tied it for him. And he caught a lot of fish on that orange. And then he made a statement on Facebook. And he said, hey, he said, uh, <laughs> he told those guys, he said, man, I don't know if he's got some kind of magic or something on those things or what. He said, but, man. <laughs> He, he's been real productive with them, but it's just knowing what they want. I got a lot of little secrets I put in the tie. I ain't going to tell them all of that because, you know. Right. The thing is this. We got a real, real, they, they call it a super moon. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So right now, it's going to push the feed way. But you're going to get a lot of activity first thing in the morning. You know, like what we're seeing, because when I launched, fish were just like, like something was wrong with them, you know, and you're going to get that. But they're gonna, this fish watched that jig for as long as we've been talking, but they're not going to be super aggressive until that latter part of the day. How, how long, I mean, before dark were y'all here? No, I'm talking about this morning. Right. Okay. Right. That's a nice one. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Man, I... That's how excited I was that day when I said that, man. Everything is off the whim with me. I, you know, whatever I feel, that's what I say out here. Oh, yeah. That guy's. He he really really came up fast. Yes, he did. He's up near that Palestine. One of my one of my buddies told me he's on Palestine in those in those backwaters. Palestine's really good too. I had to get in on the party at least.
see if we can get him surrounded. We're gonna try to head him off at the pass, looks like. There you go, cut him off. <laughs> I mean, I experienced him on a full moon feeding until, like you said, about nine or 10 o'clock and then that's it. Oh yeah, you know. What I've been noticing is, I, like I said, I gotta pitch it and let it fall through versus if I just drop it and let it sit over the top of them. They're more responsive if they gotta chase it almost. Yeah, that's that's what's good. I hate that. Yeah. I hate weekends. I don't really hate them, but I don't get out during the weekends. I try not to. The winds just been so bad. This is the first day that I thought the winds were gonna supposed to be a little bit decent, but I was getting low on my fillet, so I had to come. Hopefully he'll keep. Nope. 
Tina Pé Silva. Uh, you are. Tra -tra -tra. Legal fish. Click the clicker. All legal beagles go in today. Stop recording. There you go. Where are you going? Oh, come on. Nice little fat eater. I'm gonna check him though. He's short and squatty. I don't hit nobody. They are smacking that bait this morning. The legal beagle. Not big enough. Or is it? Well, legal beagle. Click the clicker. I 
Not a crappie, y'all. Get the wrong flight. A, bit, a nice blue would be nice. A lot of. Oh, yeah, it's a catfish, but what? Sham. channel over there. There he is. Hey man, how you doing? Okay. All right. Watch videos all the time. Man, thank you. Appreciate it. How you doing? I thought I found I thought I found the crappie but no. Big old blue. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that guy was. He was netting them. The fish are pushing them up to the top. Um, uh, you know when you get down there where you had that support beam. Yeah. On top of those support beam, that's where they were at. Okay. Yeah, they were gang up on top of the support beam. Look at the head on that. I know. They want to join the party too. Okay, let's see what's happening here, y'all. Number three. And all up high. Stop recording. Right around 12 foot. Stop recording. A little bit of a tough fish this morning, guys, but I'm making it out. I know it's noisy and windy. Eight, nine, ten, seven, 
Well, they seem to be up, pushed way up, chasing shed, not really paying much attention to anything else. Try to make it happen, Captain. The jigs are falling right in there now. You ought to hit it. Gang of them on that problem. Are they all crappy? Are they gonna respond? Fish ate that. That's a better fish. Right up there at 12. And he had gone. Good lord. Do that again. A lot of better fish. Nice fish, y'all. Stop recording. All right, y'all. Dennis has left a little hole to me. He caught a big old hybrid off of this thing. So I'm gonna come over and check the blood pressure one more time before I start actually trying to go somewhere else on the lake. It's pretty windy today. Those fish have moved down pretty deep. They're down around 14 now. They were up earlier. Target some of these down here on this brush. Uh, Stop recording. <laughs> Boy, you didn't know I had a beeline on you swimming over there. I gotta get top dollar some food, so come on over here. Come on over here. Just, your swimming days is over. It'll just help you out a little bit. Some flyers. You jump right on it, boy. You, you jump right on it. See if there's some crappie over there. Stop recording. Start recording.
Yeah, buddy. Start recording. Start recording. Start recording. Stop recording. They're up in the rocks again. They're up in the rocks again. It's all good as long as they keep us like they are. I'll take them out of the rocks. Wherever they're at, I'll just get them. I'll get back on the pilings a little later. to him. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold him, hold it. God, dog. He had a young way. Come back, come back, come back over here. God. and a donkey. Hey, God, dog. Chill out, bro. Chill out. Chill out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on here. 
Look at the head on that. God, no. Get in the net. Why you can't see me? Cause that's a big old slab. That's <laughs> for some live action. <laughs> this is what happens on Lake Conroe, man. That rug, that fish way out there on top of the water acting a dunk. And this might be a, it's a monster. Get him out from over here by the bridge. Go fleet collar gonna eat good today, boy. I ain't gonna be like that dude. That video I put out there, that dude fishing and he was fighting the fish. He don't got a good grip. That fish took his rod and everything out of the boat. He don't do me like that, not today. I knew they'd be out here. I mean, Lake Conroe Harbors, y'all. This is what kind of action you get. Look at him on top of the water over there, showing up. Ooh, we acting a dunk. Give me some camera time, man, baby. Give me some camera time. Big old harbor, man. A big. Big hybrid, not no baby, this a monster. God, dog, look at the size of this hybrid, y'all. Oh, Lord, this gotta be about a 25. This gotta be about a 25 here. I done caught some 20s, this gotta be about a 25. Yep, this is a huge hybrid. God, dog. Came right out. I like that silver horn in the hand cut. Better put my uh, rod in the holster. This is the easiest fish to take your rod if you don't have it in the rod holster. Rolling through these pilings in 35 foot of water. And now the square bill has paid off. have fun all the time when I'm out here, man. I think I got a nice large model. He didn't like the square wheel running past the pilots. Nice large model, man. Square bill as always. Nice little fight. Eat this pork. 
Thanks for coming to see the hard hitter, little buddy. You got war wounds on you anyway. You won't do that again, will you? <laughs> Be a big blue. Come on up here. Come on up here. Come on up here. Time for the camera. Time for the camera. Be a big blue. Be a big blue. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're grown. Oh, no. Oh, the channel. Knock off some of these catfish until the crop gets started. when I get up under there and I miss I miss the good fish oh yeah I wasn't going to miss them every time put some more crappie in the boat put some more crappie in the boat can't keep catching catfish yeah buddy add to the quarry I got back on him. Holy burn off. You don't believe in the bridge cropping. He burned right off. I got right on him. Try to catch an evening feed, hopefully. Bumped it a couple times. 12 inch fish almost. Almost 12. Box looking ridiculous. I don't play no games, man. I'm on a meat haul. Catfish off till the crappie come back to the pilings, maybe. Maybe this is a blue. Yeah, buddy. I can eat me a little blue. Go back over there and fish for them if those are blues. Right size blue, too. Not too fat. Just like that. Yeah, buddy, you make the cut. 
You make dinner. Find the crappie, just bust up the catfish till I find them. So I'm gonna sit there and hold that jig in front of him forever before he bites. drop down on these deeper fish but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway because I'm having trouble locating the crop it looks like some brim up here but they're either too small or unresponsive so I have been getting some crappie down deeper so let's see if this is the case here they're already taken off most likely catfish because they're running already Maybe it's a good crappie down there. Nope, not a good one, but those are crappie way down at the bottom at 21. But it's doing the non part of the feed, and most of the deep crappie have been small. The bigger crappie have been up at 10 and 11, and like this fish here. That's them brim. They're chasing the bait way up at the top right there at seven foot down. But let me go back down where those crop here are at down here and see if some of them are decent. Oh, that might be a decent crop. Hit the reverse button. Don't don't. She jump. He come all the way up here trying to show us it. Maybe he'll keep. Yeah, get him in the boat. It's hard to handle them under this bridge, and they get off a lot. Look at that. They get off real easy. So I'm not doing no flipping them up here to me. I'm gonna flip them inside the boat. Whoa, 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 good solid fish. So I can target some fish down deep here and they're feeding even when it's not a feed right now. So that's pretty cool. They want it right over over the top of them and not moving too much. I hadn't tried to pitch it out to them yet. They're responding to this, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Put that in the holder because you will get your rod took out here guys do not let your rod hang in the water out here for big hybrids or skittle down the road with it good 11 and a half 12 inch fish add to the quarry we go hybrid in there only one catch let's get back in there and try it again i see some bigger marks right there They're holding deep down at the 21 foot down at the base of the column there. Sorry about all the noise again, guys, but I'm not really wanting to respond big time. Got to try to provoke the bite. I want that bait right in there on them. See some bigger fish behind them. Oh, and I got the bigger fish that's behind them. Ah, oh, boy. Here we go. Back us up out of here. That's what I love about this reverse on this Hobie. Because that's a solid catfish. He don't want to cooperate. Let me get him out of this way. Come on over this way, away from the piling. Come on over here. 
Boy, that's a solid fish. He rolling and swirling. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Look at the head on that. <laughs> Make sure the camera's running. Is it? Yep. You like that silver too, huh, fella? You go pretty blue. Good picture fish. You can join the party. But I got about 16, 17 crappie, one big hybrid now. Big old catfish, old channel cat in there too. So, I figured what I'll do is just keep fishing my way out to deeper water to try to find random crappie like what I'm doing. And then when I run into, you know, a big blue, that's a good thing. So, not always too good because they, they tend to put a whooping on my jigs. Some Blues mixed in with the crappie over here on this pilot. It was full of shad today. This place was loaded with shad, just stacked up in there. Let's see if I can get back on the crappie and not you know, another big blue. 12 foot up. And I'll be back on them again. Bring it up a little bit. I don't want to be all the way up in them. I just want to get right up over them and see can I provoke some of them to come out. They're holding real tight down at the bottom of that this, this, this column here. I know they can see it because I've seen fish come from two and three feet away to hit the jig. Somebody already hit it. He ran though, wherever he was. Catfish. They always get scared and run. That fish already had that. Probably a good crappie. Get that fish in the boat. Yep. Fish already had it. Plucked me some eaters out of here today. That one's borderline, I bet you. Barely had it. He already had the jig. I never even got to set the hook. So that's the ticket for the day, man. Is the deep the pilings in there? The fish are up, suspended. The deeper pilings, right now, these are down. He's borderline, I bet you. He's a legal fish, 10 and a half. So on a rough day like today, 10 and a half is going to box. Just 
throw them in the boat. So now the crappie are deep out here. I can sit here and whack to them. As they see the jig a mile away, he came out and smashed that. See if the others will be that responsive. It's a nice little group of them down there. Click the clicker. 17. Finish my day up like this. It's this good. I'll come back tomorrow. Winds blow me off the lake though. So. see the jig coming down that's good real good vision there but I hit that one there's down at 19 or so I ain't gonna say they're gonna come right back after hitting one big old ball of bait right there they see it coming down see those jigs get even more close to them they're coming out Oh my goodness, they are coming out of there. I'm not in a bad situation here. Uh, get the fish, get the fish, let's get the fish. Get them in the boat. They are coming out and answering the door. Go down there where they live, down deep. That one I might turn back. It's suspect they're biting so good I might not have to worry about keeping the ten and a half this time. But it's a good ten and a half inch fish again. Click the clicker. Super responsive man. It's about three or four more at least that are down there. Don't know if they're gonna keep going for the okie doke. But let's give it a try. So, the crappie are down at 19 now. Just by changing up how I was presenting that bait, I'm not getting bit. Before I was coming over here, dropping that bait right out in front of them where they could see it. Now I tried that other approach, I'm gonna redo what I just done and see if that makes a difference. If I drop it out in front of them, like I've been doing, and let them come out and dictate it. Because that's what they have been doing until I tried to change things up. Yeah, I messed up the presentation and I'm not getting hit. Let's see. Try it again. They're just coming out looking at it now. They know Nice little family at 10, they don't want to do nothing at 10 normally. So I may just go straight down to those fish that are at 19. That seemed like what a crappie are holding. Those fish at 10, they're big marks, but they don't want to do nothing. And I mean nothing. Let me drop down to these fish that are active. I'm dropping that bait down right about 16 or 17. They're seeing it ahead of time and coming up to it, the crappie were. Like, he come. Uh, man, missed it. Looking too tough. Answering the door, you get in there by them. He gonna go back. He ate the thing. They are not playing when you go down there to the deeper ones. That big jig is gone. I wanted that. Thank you, sir. Let me have my jig back. I almost gut shot it. He bleeding. But yeah, he wanted that. Those deeper 19, look, he got mud on the bottom of his butt. Got mud all on his bottom. 
Get on back down there. Don't go till it. Whatever you do, don't go till it. So, fish at 19 are more responsive in this deeper water, but I've been waiting for that anyway. I love to come out here and deep feast for these crappie. They're gonna get bigger. I go some right there at 15. Let's see if them are some decent fish. Came up, didn't hit it. I shouldn't have moved it too fast. Decent crop. Yeah, buddy. Come on, get in the boat, get in the boat. They're getting smaller. Borderline, borderline. Ten and a half. Gotta go in today. Look like 19 or so. So let me just try to knock off the fish I can. Don't worry about those. I can't get the bite. Drop this jig down to about 17, 18, and they come out from 19 and 20 to uh, smack it. These jokers are smart. They give you one or two, and that's it. Uh, better fish just another foot down. He's getting eaters today. I might turn him back. They fat and healthy, but no size on these deep suspending fish. Turn him back. Whenever I do that, I get a bigger fish anyway. your bait and I guess if they thinking these jigs are bait that ain't scared to go down coming up towards the column here come one uh, well I can say anything you already own it a whole hornet's nest of them. Jumping on that jig every time it comes through there. Ten and a half to go in today. Twenty. Don't jig it. That's better crappie. Down to 21 and jig it, 20 and 21 and jig it, and it popping it when I don't have to measure. Better fish. Measure anyway, just for educational purposes.
All those shad that were out here, man, what if they're just not hungry? What if everybody's full right now? I'm out here trying to serve dinner and they done al already ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I'm trying to serve them up a dinner that makes them a winner. And I don't want a beginner. Fish are scattered out everywhere. Not in here thick, thick, thick yet. It's all good. Pop it down to 19, see if I can get somebody to come out. Come out and play. One for the road, baby. See you, I see you. They, they, they over here. Maybe they'll come out. They over here. on the other side. Close it out with a bang, man. One crappy for the road. Come on up out of there. Uh-oh. Got busy with the catfish. Going all crazy. Bet you won't do it again. You ain't got a scale on your tail, you don't knock the fire out of it. Kill it right there, man. You ought to kill it right there. I'm all up in your house again. And close out the segment with a nice big bang. Oh, close out the segment with a nice big bang. That's all. I'll close it out on that for y'all. Whoa, I mean, he took off. Yeah, buddy. I know I pissed you off with that when I came around the other side of that parlor. He said, I wish you would. Close it out with a bang, y'all. Might not be a crappie, but it's a line pool hooked up fishing at Hard Hitter Man. Thanks for watching, likes, subscriptions, comments. And y'all already know what it is, man. You know, education on this channel, man. Show you how to work this bridge. Show you how to work these jigs. Might start doing tutorials once I get everything hooked up, built up, fixed up. Right now, working these boys, adding to the quarry. I say that I ain't got him up here yet. I'm fighting hard. Yeah, buddy, you don't like you don't like the look of that kayak. That kayak bigger than you. Oh, and that's look like a good blue. I'm talking smack on it. Be careful and go and net this fish. That's a good blue. I'll be able to eat good. Get the net. I mean, you pull and drag and everything else. Oh yeah, that's a good blue. I'm gonna go back over there. Come on, man, get in the net. Thank you, sir. I'll just close it out with that. Instead of working hard, thank, thank you, Father. That's something to close the segment out with, guys. I appreciate everything, man. The likes, subscriptions, comments. Ah. Uh, all the views like share and subscribe man big old pretty one to close it out with y'all big pretty one that's all right right there lead on the table the box looking ridiculous on a full moon phase day big old hybrids in there Monster box, man. Monster box. Get get to the dock and show y'all. This time, try to get some footage of the fish. 
Conroe 1097, man. Put the smack down on them with that silver all day long. One jig caught all them fish and ready for another adventure as soon as... And this is one I had on the last time I was out here. So this jig is just constantly catching fish. I ain't have to change jigs, change colors, all that stuff. No, man. Put it in their face. Presentation, man. Rules of nation. All you got to do is do the right thing, man. Do the right thing. You'll be blessed. Thank you, Father, for that hookup at the end right there, y'all. Thank you guys for rolling with me. One of them days where I had to grind a little bit. But I enjoyed every bit of the grind. Only them killed the catfish. Can't wait for him to post his little video. Finally got him some YouTube footage today. He tore them fish up over there at uh, 8.30. He fished 8.30 today and did real good. So I'm just going to get in, man. Put all my, my stuff up. Put everything up where I can safely get on in. Get this, this. That's already put up. You guys make sure y'all check out the new channel upgrades man all of the work i've been doing to try to get the channel to where it's nice and professional looking and all that kind of stuff i didn't care about it because one thing about it channel speaks for itself because I, I i i put i put the smack down on these fish man on a regular on a regular Make my own ties, catch my fish with the ties that I make. Get out here and paddle 12 hours straight. Healthy living, man, trying to get everybody on eating off the land. That's God's plan, man. We just gotta do the right thing, you know. Try to get out there and get with old Mike Webb, man, so I can get me some. Wild hog, wild deer. Wish I had property where I can raise my own goats. All that kind of stuff, man. Good living. But, uh, yeah, man, just uh, trying to push the channel a little bit more as I'm getting a little bit more time to do that, man. And uh, Get to the point to where I can show a little bit more appreciation to all you guys. It's just kind of rough in the gulf for me after mom's and still been going on, man. We just been having a tough time, man. Lost a couple of nephews in the process. Just a rough go at it, bro. But you know, God got the plan. We just rolling with it, you know. Till we see him again, basically. How that go? Hit a black bass on the square bill today. Everything else came on that one jig. So. What's left now is to bring it on into the hive. Get off this gum water. I done had fun, did my thing. Time to get home and eat. Eat, eat, eat.
Top dollar ready to eat. I don't think I'm gonna fry no fish tonight. Everything gonna be on ice till tomorrow. Put a knife on everything tomorrow. Love this Hobie, man. Look at all this rod storage, man. I hold six rods in here comfortably. No problem. With no problemo. Keep all my rods in the rod sleeve. My ACC sent me out a new rod tip, man. Mad props out to ACC anytime I have a problem. Those guys step right up to the plate, man, and take care of it, man. Highly recommend them. Yeah, I break a few rods, but you know, I'm the hard hitter. Hard as I set that hook. Surprised they ain't break more. But uh let me get in, man. Where I fit in. Put everything up. Where well, that way when I get in, all I gotta do is roll. I ain't break out but really one jigging rod today. I didn't take another one out. Didn't take out another jig at all either. And uh, yeah, man, just uh, produce fish under, under tough conditions. The wind kicked up a little bit, but I handle that too. Look at it and push me all out from the bridge. Like that, twenty four. Picked up fishing, baby. A hard hitter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 on a rough full moon phase day. Just like that. Thanks for watching. Likes, subscriptions, comments, man. Appreciate everything. Y'all already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe, man. Push the channel. Merchandise is online, channel is being upgraded. Thanks, appreciate it. I'll let you later.